I call it a quiet noise. You, you, the whole world ceases to exist for that moment. Any pressures in life, any problems, they don't matter anymore. And uh, it's you versus the weight, you versus you. And it's kind of like the clearest moments that I have. When you talk to other powerlifters, it's kind of hard to explain. But, you know, a white noise, you're, you're filled with all different types of emotions um, as you go out there. And try to prove to yourself that you can or cannot do a weight. You know, in a, in a powerlifting meet, the emotions that you feel after you lift is pure adrenaline. Um, joy, adrenaline. When you miss a lift, there's some sadness. Um, it's part of the sport. You go home, you know, you recalculate what you got to do so you can put out a better product the next time you show up. You know, ever since I was a kid, you know, I was into, uh, you know, strength. I was obsessed with the Hulk, Juggernaut superheroes, you know, superhuman strength is something that intrigued me. I guess my biggest win would be the 2019 100% uh, Raw Powerlifting World Championship Bench Press and Strict Curl Championships. I also hold the record for the heaviest dumbbell on planet Earth, 451 pound dumbbell, had it custom made locally. You know, at the gym, most you see are 200, 220 pound weights. And uh, after years and years of rowing these weights, they got easy, and I wanted to challenge myself, so we had a 315-pound dumbbell made. So we went to the steel shop and said, hey, you know, make us a dumbbell that's bigger than this, and uh, it ended up being a 413-pound dumbbell. First day brought it home, I lifted it, and uh, ended up being able to do that for 10. So I was like, you know what, let's make an even bigger one. So that's how the 451-pound dumbbell was made. And uh, the most I could have done with that is four reps, and uh, it's a real heavy piece of equipment as far as trophies go. I mean, to me, I don't really live for trophies, but that means more to me than any trophy that I've ever won in my life. Uh, to own that, to actually train with it. I mean, I, I really believe it wasn't for powerlifting, I don't think I'd be around. I made a career out of it, being a bouncer, and then that led to going to movie auditions and uh, being a big guy and uh, landed a couple movie roles and so for me all of that's come from powerlifting um, you know um, that that's that's it's given me everything you know I mean there's not enough I could do to get back to the sport for what it's given to me people think weightlifters are stupid bullies and we're not that it, it takes a lot of passion drive brains all of it you know a big thing of powerlifting is a mental game. If you tell yourself you can't make a lift, guess what? You're not going to make a lift. You tell yourself you can, you make that lift every time. You work hard for it, tell yourself you can, you make that lift every time. I spend $550, $600 dollars a week just on food. I eat about 10,000 calories a day. Uh, a lot of chicken, a lot of rice, a lot of pasta. You know, you're not going to get that strong. Especially if you're natty, you're not going to get strong. Even if you're not natty, you're not going to get that strong if you don't eat right. Young people coming into the sport, I, I, they shouldn't be taught that you have to take a drug to be strong. I compete drug-free powerlifting. A lot of guys I know do drug-free powerlifting as well. You don't need drugs to be strong. You can be strong without it. Now, this isn't knocking guys who take it. Some real strong guys out there that take drugs, that take steroids. It's just not, it shouldn't be taught to these kids right away, right off the bat, if at all, that they need that to be strong, they need that to be successful. At a point in my life where I care what too many people think about me. I mean, uh, if you're in that realm where you're trying to make everybody happy, you're never going to please everyone. So, um, it'll, it'll drive you crazy. That saying, you don't have haters, you ain't doing it right. I mean, that's just a fact. I appreciate the love I get, I appreciate the support I get. Um, at the same time, I appreciate the hate I get. I appreciate the doubt I get. It's like, uh, go ahead and tell me I can't do something. I'll watch. I'll show you I can do it. And uh, a big part of my life is, has been that. You know, a lot of people say, hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. You're not going to lift the world's heaviest dumbbell. You know, broke my hand. Had that hand reconstruction. Like, yeah, you're not going to come back from that. You're not going to lift this. And six months later, I came back and rode the heaviest dumbbell in the world. 
So when people tell you you can't, that's a huge motivator for me. Go ahead and tell me I can't do something and I'll do it. I'll show you. And at the same time, show myself.